Good morning. I was hoping to start this vlog off a little bit on a better note, but it has been rough. I say that a ton, but both kids were up at 4.30. I tried to get Bennett back to sleep. I told Hendrix to go back to bed and then Kenny's alarm went off at five. So that just like completely woke Bennett up because we still haven't been able to fully transition him into his crib. He's still very dependent on sleeping in our bed. It's been a hard transition. I got up, made Kenny his lunch so he had something to take to work with him. Got Bennett back down for about an hour and it's just been madness. Hendrix has the worst attitude, but we're gonna get through it. I'm gonna make sure he takes a nap today. I do need to go get a couple packages that were delivered, clean out the fridge because there was a big old coffee spill in there and I also need to get groceries today. I am very much looking forward to a Starbucks coffee today. There's just something about the espresso in it that just makes my body happy versus like just the iced coffee that I have at home. Maybe that's in my head, I don't really know. I'm hoping to do like a try on haul. I only got myself a couple of things and this will probably be like the last video that I do for a while where I like show anything clothing wise because I feel like that's all I've done the past couple videos is show like my recent purchases and I don't want to like I don't ever really buy anything but because like I said the kids are going through such a big growth spurt like I've had to basically redo their entire wardrobe which is why I have so much to show lately. It's not because I'm trying to like flaunt that I'm buying stuff. It's always bittersweet. Kenny had the last three days off and it was just the break that we both needed. It was so nice to have him home. I wish that I was successful enough to have him stay home more. Like I wish he could only work a few days a week and us be just like able to comfortably live and provide for our future but that's just not how it is right now and the weather was super crappy so we didn't do anything that was worth vlogging like if i'm being completely honest we just kind of sat and watched movies played video games um we've got the new crash um why can't i think of the rest of it i don't know we got a new family game that we were all playing over the weekend and it was a ton of fun. Judge me if you will. I know in like 2021, you're not supposed to give your kids screen time and all this stuff, but like I grew up playing video games and watching TV and stuff in moderation. That's besides the point. I'm gonna get my shoes on. I'm gonna go down and grab those packages and maybe I'll try to do that try on haul for you guys. On to the floor these go. I'm pretty confident this stuff is. Hendrix's. This is probably not the most pleasing way to open this stuff, sorry. I have jumped onto the tie-dye train though. What do you think? It's cool. It should fit. It should, it's a small. I think you're good. Yeah. There's that one. Let me pull that one out. Oh, this is my pants. No, it's a shirt. Oh. Is it a shirt? Turn it this way. It's upside down. Oh. What? <laughs> that makes sense! Do you like those? Where's my pants? They haven't come yet. Old Navy doesn't ship everything at once. Huh? Which is kind of annoying. <gasps> what are you doing over there? Shirt? Yep, you got two new shirts. You got more stuff coming, but like I said, they just... I haven't shipped yet. I went ahead and threw some curls in my hair to maybe make myself feel a little more presentable today. But while I was doing that, I got Hendrix's shoes in the mail. And in my last vlog, I was talking about how I bought those Birkenstocks and they just weren't quite what I was looking for. And then I think the next day, I actually saw another YouTuber that found some like knockoff ones at Target. I'm hoping that these fit, they're a size 12, but I know like brands can obviously vary. Ooh, these almost might be too big. Let me see. I might need your foot. These almost might be too big. You might have to reorder them in, a, in an 11. 
we'll try them but i got these blue ones and then i also got them in brown i figured that would be another good staple so like if he's wearing like a lot of blue then it's not like blue everything i can switch it up with the brown and then i also got him these tennis shoes or like just slip on shoes to play in these were 9.99 these both were 14.99 which i still think is a really good deal what i got on there to originally look for were these these were also 9.99 I want to get them in gray, but I just did the navy because that's all that they have. It's nice because they just have the Velcro, so he can just slide his foot in and he's good to go. They're super lightweight, just like the Birkenstocks. But I think we'll for sure keep these. I like these. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. I'll try them on them. If I don't like them, I'll just end up taking them back because I have to go return stuff and do Easter shopping and all that at some point anyways. I always have a little Bennett right at my feet. Huh. My hands are kind of full, but I can't quite pick you up. Uh. Yeah, I can't quite pick you up. Here, do you want to take your shoes so I can get your brother? Uh. Yeah. You got it. Well, you definitely fit your feet. Can you stand up? Yeah. What do you think? They feel really good. They're not too big. They're not too big or too small. They're not too small. Maybe they're not too small. And do you like them or do you think they look funny? I like them. You like them? Yeah. Okay, if you like them, we'll keep them. Yeah. Okay, you want to try on your sandals? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try the round and that. What color is that? Purple. Is it purple or is it blue? It's purple. They're actually blue. Yeah, they're blue. We're still learning. If they're like a lighter color, he's pretty good at like knowing the difference between purple and blue. But if it's darker, he has a really hard time. Yeah, these are too big. I feel like if I get the 11, I don't want them to be like right at his toes. I don't know. I feel like maybe by the time summer actually hits, He'll probably fit into them. Not only that, but just for these ones being like a water shoe, I think we can get away with at least these. I think the 12s will be okay because I really do. I feel like if I were to go back and get an 11, they would fit like a glove and then I would be in the same situation, but then they would all be sold out. Do you want to try to stand up? Mm -hmm. You got it? How do those ones feel? Feels good too. Those ones feel good too. Now for my portion of the haul. This stuff is from Abercrombie & Fitch. I wish that I had like a full body mirror. There's one I've been eyeing for a really long time. I just haven't bought it just because like other things have come up. So I have bigger priorities. So you're going to have to bear with me when it comes to this try on haul because it's going to be a bit of a challenge without a full body mirror, but we're going to make it work. So the first thing that I have is like this tank top and I can already tell you I'm probably going to return it. I just feel like the color and everything is just not what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to return that. Right now I have on like their contour legging. Super comfortable. I'm not a legging person at all, but I've been wearing these almost every single day. I wish I would have ordered more. So I definitely anticipate to do that, but I love them because they're for one, super high waisted. These are their contour joggers and they have like that super popular cross right here. I think these will look okay. I think they're going to look really good because I do have such wide hips, like very wide hips. That's just something that runs in our family. And it's something that I was self-conscious of for many, 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 many years because as you know, like in the beauty industry and stuff, everybody has that perfect hourglass and I don't. My body, like, I just have hips. I love the cross. I think that is very flattering. Um, again, I wish I had a full body mirror to show you guys. I don't know. I feel like my thighs just look kind of funny in them. That's just my personal opinion. They're just so different from what I've ever owned that I just don't know how I like them. I know these are really popular and they've all looked super comfortable. So I decided to order one just in white because white goes with everything. I thought with my high waisted leggings that they would be really cute. I think I'll probably keep this top. This was so out of my comfort zone. I 
I think it's just because I know how hard this fabric is to try to take care of because it is that Sherpa, is that what it's called? So if you have any tips, let me know. I know I'll probably just end up like spot cleaning it, but if it needs like a good actual wash, that's kind of what I'm nervous about. But I would never in a million years think about buying. That's a lie. I have thought about buying these, I just never have. This is so cozy. I wanna say I got it on sale for about $39. It's originally, I believe, $89. It's got like leather detailing. I'm assuming it's fake leather. I don't think that they would put real leather on their stuff. With it still being like semi chilly out, I think this will be perfect. The last thing are these jeans. I actually already own these exact pair. They were on clearance for I think like 20 something dollars. And I loved them so much that I went and purchased another pair, but I did downsize i am not trying to brag about what size i am i have never been this small all through high school everything like i was a size three and then after having kids i just am having a hard time gaining weight keeping weight on so i did go ahead and size down maybe i'll throw them on so you guys can see them but i like them they have like that raw edge and just a few like distressing pieces and then there's the back so these are definitely snug but i feel like because they stretch throughout the day they're gonna fit perfectly that is what the back looks like i love them they're super comfortable these are like their mid-rise skinny jeans i know skinny jeans are no longer in but i have such a hard time finding jeans for myself that actually fit in the waist and in the thigh I don't know so these i just i love them so much that i had to get a second pair back to mom life i go i don't think i've ever let my fridge get this bad so just a fair warning it's a small fridge so i guess it doesn't look that bad but there's like a major coffee spill so i'm gonna take everything out and just clean the fridge leftovers that need to be thrown away fruit that's gone bad i don't even think these yogurts are good anymore i just need to get that cleaned out make ourselves a grocery list oh yeah what do you think you're doing mister hey spin it he is gonna be the kid that keeps me on my toes Aren't ya? It's actually kind of funny because my mom has no sympathy. She's like, yep, this is exactly how you were as a kid. So this is my karma. The fridge is looking so much better. I feel like I can actually breathe when I open it now. It doesn't look so clustered in there, but we are pretty much out of everything. Like I said, a lot of the stuff went bad in there. So we need to get like fresh fruits, applesauce, yogurt, juice. All sorts of stuff. Does the fridge look better? I say cheese. Yep. You. Cheese. I just got my list all together. I'm only getting things for just today and tomorrow because it's already 3 o'clock. I don't want to spend hours at the grocery store. I still have to get dinner going. It's you. Should we go to the store? He's in his third outfit of the day because he's spit up on the last two. It's such a beautiful day out. You beat me. The park, I don't know that we're gonna have time today. It is already close to dinner time. Can you get buckled? Hey. Those are cool. Those would be fun for Easter. Yeah. Those are actually really cute. I wish I would have saw those before I bought your yeah. stuff. Really cute. Every time we go to the store, you always ask if we can look at the flowers. Should we get some? Yeah. Ooh, those are kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Put them in the cart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What else? We need some red sauce. I can get this. Well, I'm going to do this because it's glass. Yeah. Kind of like grab, like, we like a wind. Got it? Just be careful. Do you want to show them how good you are at this? Let's see if we can get the ball. Look, bin it. Don't mind this mess from this morning. Oh, go ahead. You can push it down. 
Earlier I posted on Instagram a video of the boys coloring together like on a piece of paper. Uh, yeah, just came across that bad boy. I'm assuming that was from Bennett because it's his height. Bennett did that. I said, I think Bennett did that. Yeah. Or was it you? No. No. You already had your share of coloring on the couch, huh? So I'll have to try to get that out. Yay! This is our mess from today. There's even a spoon on the floor. Groceries to put away, garbage to take out. Oh yeah, Hendrix got an apple juice. That's what I've been getting him recently at Starbucks. It's like a grande iced apple juice. It's like $2 or something, so it's technically cheaper than getting like the juice box. And then I just, I think I've told you before, but I've had a few people ask. I just get the iced white chocolate mocha with sweet cream cold foam. Instead of whipped cream, you can add caramel drizzle. I don't care for my coffee to be super sweet, so it doesn't bother me. Like I said, today has just been a freaking day. This vlog might end up being a little choppy. It might be a little boring. I don't know, but you know how it is when you're that parent and you have your kids screaming and everybody at the store is just staring at you. Like, just mind your business. I know we're in public, but... Oh, also, don't mind this. Um, as soon as I walked away, Bennett fell back on the hardwood floor. So he was crying, and that's what that's from. So, not even just a day, but a week. It has been a freaking week. I will say, though, the highlight of my day was that Kenny just randomly out of the blue texted me. And let me get my phone, actually. He said, I just wanted to let you know you're the best mom our boys could ever ask for. And I love you dearly with all of me. Oh, and that... <laughs> you say that was cute? Yeah. That was really cute, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much made me want to cry in a puddle of tears because it's just been a day. It's been a week. And sometimes you just need to be told that you're doing a good job and that you're a good mom and that... You know, I don't know, like, it's just nice to hear those words of encouragement, you know, to know that you're not completely failing, especially when I'm trying to juggle my day of like, okay, I need to film this for YouTube, I need to get this posted, I need to go grocery shopping, I need to clean out the fridge, I need to make a list, the laundry needs done, dishes need done, the apartment's a mess, the baby needs fed, like, there's just so much to it. That's the thing is, like, people always say, like, oh, stay-at-home moms have it so easy when... I feel like, I mean, comparing this to being a manager, it's pretty equivalent. I mean, that goes for not just moms or stay-at-home moms, that goes for any parent. Like, I've been in both positions where I've been a mom who's working two jobs. I've been the stay-at-home mom who's still trying to do, like, a side hustle. And, like, being a parent alone is so draining. It's a 24-7-hour job. And it's just draining. So I don't know. My point is, is that it's just nice to be told that you're doing a good job. And I feel I try to tell Kenny all the time that like I'm so proud of him. But just to like hear that out of the blue was really nice and definitely like the highlight of my day. But I need to get groceries put away. I figured I'd do like a grocery haul. And then I need to get dinner going because it is after 4 o'clock. Kenny should be home about 6, just after 6, give or take. And hopefully by then I will have not lost my mind. Figured I would just show you guys while I'm putting it away. But I have two things of this cilantro lime rice. I love this on any Mexican food, whether it be tacos or like those nachos that I shared with you guys in one of my like what's for dinner videos. I've been adding this to it, like on top of it. So good, but it's so hard to find. So I technically don't need it for any of the recipes I'm making this week, but because it's always sold out, I grabbed two. I really like to have snacks accessible for Hendrix for him to just grab and go because say I'm feeding Bennett or he's just really needing my attention and I can't like attend to Hendrix, he can at least have you know, a snack or something to hold him over until I can focus on him. So I just got some more go-gurt. Not the healthiest thing, but like I said, it's just easy for him to grab and go. My fridge is now stocked and it looks so pretty. There's like nothing better than a clean, organized fridge. And this is what I mean by just having snacks accessible for Hendrix to just grab. So applesauce, uh, yogurt, string cheese, 
Normally I would wash and cut those, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, but then he can just grab those as well. Did you want me to open this for you? That's what it looked like you were trying to do, look. Is this what you were trying to see? Oh, is that all gone? I just put them in the fridge. Oh, do you need some help? To help me make some dinner. Hi. Got it? I'm thinking about it. Maybe not. I don't know why this makes me so sad, but does anybody else remember when Hendrix was about this age, maybe a little bit older? Carefully don't bunk your head. But he'd come over and try to help me do dishes. Except for you're trying to climb in there. Should we come empty this? And go watch out. I don't know if you remember in the last vlog, but I was talking about how he was getting another tooth. Well, he's actually getting two, and they just popped through a few days ago, actually. Uh, there it is. I saw it. And decide. I can see it. Huh. You're getting so many chompers. Oh. He's like, I'm out of here. I got places to go. You look like you're gonna walk along this. Yeah. You want up here? Oh, that's hot. Oh. Are you gonna pull your other sock off? Hi. <laughs> you gonna come watch our show with us? Ooh, a big bite. That's how I've been giving them to him. And he mouths it down. <laughs> Why are you giving me that mean look? Angry face. Maybe for your first birthday. We'll just give you a whole fat boy to yourself. Put a candle in it. Oh no. <laughs> After we let you have cake. Oh, both? Both. Hi. You want more? Babe, those are huge bites. <laughs> One, two, three. Teeter-totter. Teeter-totter. Well, it's too big for that. What? Teeter-totter. It'll never be too big. Teeter-totter. <laughs> teeter <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I've got Hendrix to bed, which means it is this little guy's turn. It is way beyond his bedtime, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Dad. Dad's out in the living room. I'm gonna work on getting him to bed and end the vlog here.